What's going on YouTube? This is Mixtape. I'm back at it again with another video. I'm using that Victus XMR, sniping on Dome. Popped off pretty good and hope you guys enjoy it. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and sit back and enjoy this gameplay with me. So on this game right here, as I said before, I'm using the Victus XMR, sniper rifle on Modern Warfare 2. It had been a while since I had been on multiplayer and especially had dropped a new video so i wanted to put out some new content and um i'm glad i did i'm glad i played didn't start off too hot but you'll see it's gonna be a point in this game that i pop off and go on like a nice little kill streak and that's all you want you know you want to get on the game and play your way especially on an older map like this from Modern Warfare 3 I believe it is you know you want to get out there and play a good game remember to respond points have a good game and enjoy yourself I haven't been playing as much Modern Warfare 2 as I thought I would but overall it's still a great game um Depending on what Call of Duty comes out this year, or depend on if I actually get the newer Call of Duty, I kind of limit myself to either Black Ops or Modern Warfare. Um, the newer ones don't seem the most interesting, like I didn't get um, Ghost when that came out, and I didn't get... Um, the last one I had came out with the zombies. I didn't get those, so I don't know. I just kind of limit myself to the certain ones. I don't know if there's fatigue with this game, but every year kind of the same game, gameplay and style of Call of Duty. And so I don't know if I'm getting tired of it or whatever, but I just kind of limit myself with it. I'm not the biggest Warzone player. If you play Warzone, let me know in the comments. And what type of guns do you typically go for? Um, I mean, maybe I'll give it a shot, and maybe it'll work better for me. But, um, yeah, I haven't gotten to the point where I pop off yet. Just kind of chilling, seeing what's coming to me, trying to hit some shots. And... Coming up though. It'd be crazy to me a lot of times though that um, I'd be missing shots on here. And I know I don't play this as much as I could, so my shot could be better, but sometimes I feel like I line it up. You know, if you snipe or you play the game and you know what I'm talking about, you know, let it be in the comments. Sometimes I feel like I'd be locked in or put on a perfect area and boom, I miss a shot. And then, you know, as a sniper, that usually takes a life. And it's every now and then you're running against somebody that don't know what they're doing. But most part, it's usually your life. But I'm getting up on a point where I'm finna start popping off. Uh, as you can see, the game is... Not close, so we had the advantage, but once I kind of pop off and get some kills in a row, it kind of opened up everything, so that was fun to do. Finally got that drag scope to work. I couldn't see him no more. They ain't got me. But yeah, let me know if you guys are enjoying Modern Warfare 2 still, how great of a game you think it is. Um, let me know. I'm interested. You guys have any favorite maps? Are you enjoying everything that these campaigns have offered? Uh, have you finished the campaign? Anything like that. This is my part where I kind of popped off. 
As I was telling you, that was two straight kills. And then they just start respawning right here. So as they coming out, I'm finna let them have it. That's four. And this is one of my favorite spots in uh, Modern Warfare 3 as well. You kind of sit behind this ledge and they're responding over here. It's kind of fun because they're at your mercy. And they're not in, they don't have those windows to kind of peek out of as much no more. So that makes it tough on them. Got an SAE. So, I mean, seven straight kills to me is pretty dope. I could have done more. Oh, there you go. I should have been eight. I don't know why that wasn't eight. There you go, eight. So that was the main part right there. I think I did good. A little eight piece. Killed most of the team twice. Stuff like that brings happiness to me as I play the game, but when I'm not doing as well or I see people trying hard, you know, and that's the parts that just kind of take away the fun for me, you know. I don't be coming into these games as much to go hard, but I understand it because there's people that stream and they're trying to make money off of this and make a living off of it, so I understand if I was presented that opportunity, you know, I would probably do it myself. I love video games, but honestly, I don't think that that's my lane as of right now. Sure, I could be out there streaming and stuff like that, but I'm trying to move in a little bit of a different direction. Um, and I don't know if streaming is the is the move. Plus, I, I think it costs a lot to get into it. Let me know in the comments if you stream. And if you do, how much did all that stuff cost? Buying a mic, a camera, you know, all that type stuff like that. Have the good editings and stuff like that. You know. As you guys can see, I just kind of, I use the editing that they have on the PlayStation. So I don't have anything special, but some people, they spent a lot of money into it. And for me, that's probably not the best option. I'm not saying it's impossible, but that's just not how I choose to spend the money right now. But, um. That was the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You got a 20 and 10 gameplay right here. It was an Evictus XMR. Please subscribe if you're new. Um, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is Mixtape, and I'm out. Y'all take it easy.